Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Suxan and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Supergirl Season 3 Episode 7 called Wake Up. And we start off with um, people um, found a ship underwater when they're checking the submarine attack from a few weeks ago. And basically the... Um, <laughs> So basically the ship fired back and the people did manage to escape and then we cut to where Sam is cooking and she feels off like she like actually put her hand in boiling water and nothing happened and then you have John's dad is lost and trying to find the bathroom so Wynn helps him out and then talks to John's like you should take your dad out more and not make him hang around the D uh. and then so and then the ship has been there for 12,000 years. And then we have John uh, transports uh, Wynn and Supergirl to the ship. And they get there and someone fires on them and it turns out that person is mon -El. So they get him to the D.O. and he can actually breathe now. So he got cured of the lead poisoning that affected the city last time he was, you know, that, that's the reason why I had to leave in the first place. And then Sam visits uh, Patricia, which is also her mother. And basically, um, she kicked her out when she got pregnant. And then, basically, then um, then she kind of dumped, then Sam pretty much dumps her feelings out and talks to her like she's very concerned about what's happening to her. So she shows her um, the pot she came in. And then um, a device comes out of it. And then we have John to where James visits Kara. And then we have Sam leaves Ruby with a sitter. And she's going on a trip to find out what this, uh, what this device is and where she's going. And then you have John and Dad hang out a little bit. But John is more concerned about the D.O. than hanging out with his father. And his father obviously picks that up. And then he just goes off on his own. And it's his own thing. And then we have Monel tries to leave slash takes weapons, and he actually um, he, uh, KO'd two guards, and so basically she KO'd him. Then Kara dumped all the feelings that she's been having for the past seven months. She dumps it all out, and all he can say is, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, really? And... And... Then we cut to where Sam's traveling and the vice glows and then the car breaks down. And then you have, then you have Wynn uh, tries to talk to Monel and he says he needs to get back to the ship and it's for car safety. So he actually lets them go and they go back to the ship. Then Char, uh, then car tracks them and turns out it's been seven years for Monel and he's been in the 31st century he's been in the future and Elcourt um, developed a um, develop a antidote for him to be able to breathe with and to combat the lead poisoning and then um, the chamber starts to fail and so um, they have to bust um, it out to get the person out and it's a woman and um, he's very very concerned over her and then we have Sam finds the place, and basically it shoots up, and like all these uh, rocks shoot up into jagged edges, so it's like her own fortress. And then we go back to the D.O. where the girl is stable, and then um, we cut to where John gives his dad and him an apartment for them to live in and to actually call a home. So, and they talk, and the dad was the idea, and it was a very touchy little moment there. They have Monel and Cara talk, and turns out the girl is actually his wife. And that, that's not gonna, that doesn't cut it for Cara. Cara's kind of like, what? And then um, Sam um, activates the fortress, and the Sam uh, gets answers, and it's from her hologram, I guess, of her mother, and tells her she's a world killer, and she's gonna forget about her daughter. And everything else is just only going to focus on justice and the stream is just going to get there to it. And uh, tells her to emerge and it actually happened. Well, she says, you'll be awoken and rain. And she is awoken now. She's she's awake now. So that's 
Uh, it's very intense. So, um, I'll give this, to be honest, I'll probably give this episode an A+. Plus. I really enjoyed this episode. Um, it's kind of like a complete 180 with Sam, so I'm very interested to see where that character goes, because um, I don't really know a whole lot about the comics and stuff, so I think it'll be very interesting to deal with that, and then for Kara to deal with Monel's wife. <laughs> That's going to be very interesting to deal with, too. So I'm very interested to see where that goes. So um, I think overall, you get you know, the fleshing out of the characters was really good in this episode, and you learn a lot. And so, um, yeah, I guess it's A+. Plus and I cannot wait for next week for the Fortnite crossover. So that's going to be fun. So I think that's one of the first episodes. So if you like this video, please give it a like. Comment down below on what you think. And then subscribe for more stuff, because... I've been editing all day and I got about eight videos to roll out for music, so get ready for that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.